topic what do you two. mean exactly it's but it's not exactly like the ones i get it but it's like huh repetition breeds apathy repetition beyond just sticking apathy. to the formula okay. for con so no we're content releases on. ff14 has also lost all creativity when it comes to encounter design which was arguably okay. ff14's greatest strength outside of the story wow. for years in fact have you done one of my most popular why I quit mythic raiding in WoW to raid in... <laughs> Why is the alliance raid on there? And then you say you quit mythic raiding in WoW to raid in Final Fantasy. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know a lot about WoW. But I don't think you can compare an alliance raid in Final Fantasy to the current like mythic, mythic raiding of WoW. I think what generally people do is compare Mythic to Savage or Ultimates. I don't know. But so why is this in the thumbnail? You know what? I don't need to overthink it. on this it. channel fine. is me selling the game to WoW But this players. is also... A, this is... Well, uh, whatever. It's fine. how it's great fine. You know the what? boss encounters know. are. <laughs> but again, for those of us that have been around for a while... This video is all over the place. That is my problem. Like... We have started to see the utter lack of innovation when it comes to boss design. Even in the ultimate fight. Okay, but where? Okay, even in... So everywhere. But the content functions, like... It functions so differently. A Alliance raids function so differently in what they're trying to do than Savage or Ultimates. Again, Alliance raids are there to tell a story. They're not there to challenge you on a mechanical level. They're there to tell you a story. And to be a little bit more challenging, obviously, than the normal content, because it's, you know, it, it, it is a 24-man content. It is obviously supposed to be a little more difficult and at a bigger scale, but it's primarily supposed to tell you a story. And guess what? Ultimates are supposed to challenge you in several phases of a fight, and it's supposed to you know, make you learn the mechanics and execute them on a very, very high level of skill. So uh, we're like throwing all of this into one pot and it just doesn't make any sense to me. You compare Final Fantasy to WoW for clickbaits? Easy? Yeah, true. Yeah, that's of course it has the most clicks for him because, yeah, he probably made that during the time when everyone was quitting WoW for Final Fantasy, right? So then obviously people would click it because everyone was interested in, in why people were doing this and whatever, right? Every mechanic so, yeah. is just a random combination of group stacks, prey markers, tether grabbing, uh, this limit one. cuts. Tower it wasn't this this screenshot it wasn't this what you sent psy into the into the discord or whatever group stack okay possible mechanics in final fantasy 14 group stack prey marker tether grab limit cut or tower soak yeah those are all mechanics that happen uh over and over again in final fantasy 14 uh, yes, the in out! My god, you're right, yes! Oh my god, the in out! We could never forget, right? Zar could never forget because uh, of uh, the experience that he's had with that. Um, but yeah, so we have those. And it's like, of course, yeah, there is repeating mechanics. That's crazy. There is a limit cut. Okay, so and then the funniest thing about this is limit cut being in all caps. To say like, oh yeah, it's a whole meme, right? Oh yeah, we have limit cut. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Limit cut happens so many times in a game. Everyone's memeing on it. Yeah, you know what I said earlier? Exactly what I said earlier. I said every limit cut is still different. Maybe not every, okay? Because I don't know every single limit cut in the game. Okay, so I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna pretend I do. But every limit cut that I've done in the game has been different and it's been fun it's been fun to figure out and just because the little eight numbers appear above everyone's heads right doesn't mean that limit cut is just limit cut always the same always recycled everything is just you know you just do the same things again and again that's just not how it is and it's the same like it's the same for like i don't know tower soaks tethers okay talk to like people that do top about tethers and how they needed to resolve those and how it's so similar to like i don't know tether grabs in literally anything else right like oh yeah tethers are always the same and and you know it's 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 everywhere it's just the same way it works and everything 
it's like come on it's still these are linked to different mechanics and yeah towers are always going to look the same and people are always going to have to stand inside them tethers are always going to have to be resolved somehow obviously does that mean they're all the same no obviously not yeah group stacks okay so so group okay not no not group stack. i think the prey mark what is the prey marker is uh, what, what's the prey marker <laughs> is is the prey marker like a tank but what is that or is it like the one marker where you get targeted as a specific person like i don't know i don't know i've never heard that i'm gonna be honest but like okay let's say group stacks the little st stack marker right so stack marker right stack marker as in group stack i guess uh stack markers are always going to look the same so are towers always going to look the same because people need to recognize certain things in fights they need to recognize certain things to know okay this is like this is roughly what i have to do does that mean that every single like tower soak is just going to be a tower soak and then you're done no because a shit ton of other stuff happens that is unique by the way a ton of other stuff happens or stuff happens like together right like so, some of these will happen together uh, so so then you have to do the tower soak while doing something else or after doing something else and and it kind of leads up to i guess everyone ending up in a tower or you know people like uh, like stacking in a tower only certain people can take a tower and you figure that out as you go as you go in the fight and as you proc you're figuring it out so like what yeah of course these mechanics are possible mechanics but you know that there's so many more and these are just the general things that keep coming up because you need to have some things that are returning so people know what to do if everything looked different all the time it would be horrible imagine ultimates where everything i mean ultimates are different anyway but imagine everything looked different all the time and you didn't really know what was what how much longer it would take to proc any content at all because you would never know what's going on right so obviously they make it so in the in the like easier content they obviously have stuff look the same is that surprising i don't think so also sharamatsu welcome in welcome in like twentania dive oh yeah you have the green marker on there yeah okay so so it's like the yeah it's like single target something happens to you specifically yeah all right all right um i've seen four different number of things that people call limit cut none were the same exactly right and it's like people can call it limit cut but it's so different and i've seen a lot of limit cuts as well now i've seen a lot of the recent ones you know because we've been progging uh, uh, the current tier and they're all different like p9 li limit cut and then p12 limit cut uh, wholly different things if someone like no one could tell you that if you know one you know the other because you just don't know you don't know how it works. You don't know, like, when is it gonna... You don't even know the order, I think. If you... Like, you don't even know the order it's gonna happen. Yeah, like, yeah, one is always first, but then it could be one and three do a certain thing, and five and six do a certain thing, or it could be one and two do a thing together, and then four and six do a thing together. It doesn't even need to be one, two, three, four, right? So even those orders are different in how you resolve the mechanics, right? So, like, huh? Huh? Uh, you're sing being singled out of a mech. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. P10S Towers. Oh, God. I'm sitting here vibrating, wanting to say my peace of mind and what's coming up next. Oh, God. Uh, not sure what the guy in this video expects. The same argument could apply to WoW or Guild Wars true as well. Yeah, rating in any game. Exactly, right? Because you need, you need some, some things to repeat because you need people to recognize things that are happening. Or imagine they suddenly made the, the, the big bad puddles green or, or blue or even. Like, imagine they made them blue instead of, like, orange just randomly. And I, I, I guess green, I guess it happens, but it's like, uh, you know, like, orange is always at least in like normal content like main story quest content usually you know there's an orange puddle that's bad you usually know this and that is a repeating thing and if they suddenly changed this and they were like no you actually need to stand in that kind of weird right or or like yeah i don't know like suddenly a group stack is not a group stack or whatever that's weird or suddenly there's a group stack that isn't a group stack right that has like a different marker or or a no marker whatever the hell like i huh 
right? You need some stuff to be repeated, at least for the like, casual content. And in harder content, like in Savage, you have some stuff happening that is not telegraphed or, you know, you, you, you need to like actually watch the boss uh, and what the boss is doing to know what's happening next. But that is supposed to be difficult. You don't want to do that for casual content, like, you know, going through the main story quest. Because people are not here to figure out mechanics. They're here to, like, have a fairly easy time of getting through it to do the main story quest. If it was too hard, no one would want to do the main story quest. Because a lot of people just do that and then they leave, right? Mm, if it wasn't for Zeems, I would never go through get through this video. And what do you mean? But I'm right here. You're watching it again, huh? You don't set an orange, you win. Yeah, yeah. Everything looking different, like uh, Ram Reborn, everyone hates that. Yeah, see? Stand and let thing resolve. Yeah, just die and do heal or LB3. That's every mechanic. Like, what is he even talking about? No need to overcomplicate it. Um, I don't mean to repeat myself, but I say didn't watch on my own because I didn't want to give the clickbait title of you. Yeah, I went and watched reacts to it and realized there would be no way to watch this otherwise. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it, it the thing is also, like, it's all over the place. It is all over the place. I'm rather mad they haven't changed coil markers to standing ones and make, to make it accessible to new... Oh, don't get me started on coils, dude. I, I, has this gun has this guy done coils do we have any insight on this because i'm dying to know i'm dying to know stream i read my 30 minutes comment what do you mean what what 30 minutes con comment where which one which is your 30 minute con comment what huh hmm Wrong, I am here to figure out mechanics. Why do they charge me so much for my light bulb? <laughs> this guy used too high end rate but stopped after Shadowbringers. Uh, the irony that he said it's too simple now but hasn't been around. Yeah, right? That's the thing. To experience DSR and top. Because those two things are so big and there has been a ton of controversy around DSR and top. Well, I think top has been the like biggest offender of people... Uh, losing their mind over it and and it being like it it was insane right it is super difficult content and it's crazy and uh, i ha yeah i have a reality check for people uh-huh go ahead it was never hard we were all just shit at the game that's true that's true it was never hard <laughs> we were shit at the game yeah. and the balance of Oh, yeah. Of the balance of the damage mitigation and all you could do compared to damage and what you had to resolve was so <laughs> off, it yeah. made an artificial difficulty. Mm -hmm. If you go back in the coils now, yeah. you've done you, Cobb. <laughs> and if you, if you look at coils, at what we struggled with. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's so different because, and that is why I'm like saying I was I I'm actually curious to see if this guy has done coils and when he has done it, because it's so different. Like now, and we've done part of it. We haven't even done it all. We literally got stuck at nail, uh, because we were doing it with like not with a static, not with raiders. We were just doing it with the community, right? And it is so different. It feels so different. It works different. Even if I'm if I remember the meteors of nail, if I remember like the orbs and anything, the Yukob as well. Well, right if i remember the orbs and how how wacky how wonky th these are and and how it worked back then it's like i don't hate it but everything was different and i can only imagine how it was with like different you know classes having different abilities and different balancing and and that is another thing right that you need to think about how classes have developed and how the game has developed so I can give you a perfect example of how the same thing applies in World of Warcraft as well. Mm -hmm. We used to struggle with Onyxia and Ragnaros. I used to raid those every week. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's literally three mechanics that involves you moving two meters if you're a DPS ranged player. Mm -hmm. And Ragnaros and that's it. And that was hard. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's like the commu like the the thing is, the community changes the like the players change the uh, everything changes you know like the 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 balancing changes what people are looking for uh what they can do in development there's so many aspects to everything it's so 
I think these are all such silly points to bring up. Like he's bringing up the most standard, basic thing, like repeating things in the game that are just these are nothing burgers right he's he's giving us nothing burgers because it's like yeah okay so these mechanics repeat so what does that bore anyone no not really it it's kind of good to have these indicators right to know what you're going through and then the thing about like oh yeah uh, you know how many trials await you in a new expansion or whatever I have never thought about this. Has anyone like looked at the number before and been like, oh, we're getting this amount of trials. That fucking sucks. I, w I would love to get one more or one less. Huh? I don't care. Again, I never look at that. I couldn't even tell you how many dungeons is in any expansions and how much that differs from expansion to expansion. Like the w this is, n these are no arguments. Yeah. The irony is that, uh, wait, uh, best part he is he's reviewing Raid as a whole, yeah. Yeah, and it's always difficult to, like, you know, compare things as a whole or, you know, judge something as a whole. Because I would never go out there and say, well, DSR or top are this and that way. And this is why the game is this and that way, because I haven't experienced it and I haven't talked uh, enough with people that have done it or I haven't seen enough of people that have done it uh, to know what the, va what the vast majority of people think. Again, I've, I've seen like the big streamers talk about it, right? And I've seen people that I know have cleared it. I've seen them talk about it. But how do I know that that is not just my bubble? How do I know what the vast majority of the player base or everyone in the player base actually thinks? How do I know that I don't have a cure a timeline on Twitter that just tells me whatever I want to hear or how do I know that the streams I watch because obviously the streams I watch are of streamers that I like so then how do I n know that that is like generally a you know vastly accepted opinion and not just this streamers in this community mindset so they stick around with the streamer and they you know talk about it the same way see that's another thing how do you know that right I have a other very example I think hmm. uh, just like a tangible with evidence uh, so you have your browser up anyway right? I like the evidence yeah so open this this is the third extreme in a realm reborn the third extreme yeah, this is a this is a and, tiny page. This is all there is. Look, this is strategy, right? Phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. You can all see it. This is the fourth one in Endwalker, though. I just doesn't matter which one I take. Up. Okay, so we have one page, right? That's phase one. So oh, we have setup first of all. Then we have phase one. More than one page. Oh, that's crazy. Even more, right? We go down phase two. Oh my god, look, it's more than one page. Phase three. Still, like, you know, like half a page, roughly, a little more maybe, right? Huh, that's crazy. You'd think that this stuff is more difficult now and complex. Uh, whoa, they, that's insane. They jobs easier to play all around, yeah. but they made content a lot harder. Exactly, and that's the thing. You always need to see it in comparison to, like, the whole. You need to think about everything that's going on in the game and how classes have developed and everything. Because, yes, they're making... Yeah, shut up, G4s. Go, go away. They're always making... Like, they're making stuff, you know... They're, they're making stuff more difficult, but in class easier. And you just saying, Oh, my my uh, stuff is like... Oh, my, my class is too simple now. Yeah, well, why do you think that is? Certainly not because they just felt like, Oh, let's just, you know, let's just freaking make it easier so everyone just has an easier job. No, again, like, you know, like this shows... And it's an amazing example, like this shows, is, yeah, well, we, we have much more complex fights now. And, and so that, you know, you have, you can't do everything at the same time. And that's a good thing that they're adjusting and that they're changing job balance. And that they're not giving us a million abilities and then a million things to do. And I still think we have a lot of abilities and I still think the jobs are well enough, like, in their complexity. But I'm also a, you know, I'm also a press one healer main. So my opinion, what does it really matter, right? Because I just press one and then I'm done. That's my, that's my rotation. But honestly, I think, I think it is, there is, 
there is enough of like complexity in one way or another right but then again like some people obviously some people are just better players and they have an easier time and it's more boring for them and some players are absolutely losing their mind over hard content and they can't do it and it's all too complex for them and it'll never be any other way because there's different people with different skill uh, skills and abilities so obviously you can never you can never like do it right for everyone but you can appeal to the vast majority and i think they're doing a good job of that right a face in Titan is like two mechanics. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Not even two. Um. Also, welcome back, Reki. Welcome back. Welcome back. Stupid PC. I struggled my off ass off with Cobb. Yeah. Now it's like a basic extreme trial. Yeah. It's yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, is the game getting easier or we're just getting better? Yes. Exactly. Also, hi, Mori. Hello. 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 How are you? I, I agree with you, Maury. I don't yeah. like the two-minute window. But also, oh, I'll, I'll mm. talk more about it later when it gets to this point. Mm -hmm. Especially those of us who do high-end content. Yeah, I, I felt this so much. I never wanted to do, like, Savage or Ultimates. And I was... I, I, I could... I literally can recall when i was getting better at the game i knew i noticed i felt when i was getting better at the game and it's like before you don't really if you just do casual content you don't really think about it when you once you get into the rating scene you learn so many things so quickly and you can improve so quickly and you can improve so much and there is so much for optimization and everything right and i was so bad at the game i'll be real i was so bad at the game in comparison to like what i can do now and i'm still you know you never really stop learning right so and and now I see what I can do now and what I used to do before and it's like well I've I've just improved so much and obviously now the normal content that used to be stressful for me is not stressful anymore the new trial I used to I used to poo my pants right when we had like uh like the newest uh, the newest trials of like Endwalker story right uh, and and these are really not that difficult. And I, I was like, oh my god, I can't do this. And it was so difficult and it was so overwhelming. Now I do a new trial in in the like the last one, right, that we just had in the patch. And I'm like, yeah, well, this is chill. So did it really get easier? I don't think so. I've just done ultimates and savages and I know all my buttons and I know everything that I can click. And, and I know how to deal with situations so much better. I know how to recover so much better than I, I used to. I know roughly what can happen because, again, because of these mechanics that are shown here, because those are usually the same and we've seen some stuff and then some stuff is new and then I can adjust for that. And that is a good thing. That's a nice thing. And then some, you know, some is new and some is this stuff. So I know roughly what to do and where I need to end up. For example, if there's a stack and then some mechanic is happening while that, I know that I need to end up in the stack at the end of the mechanic, right? So, and, and, that, and that's great. And yeah, you do get better at the game. And so it feels like it's getting easier. But is it really? No, I don't think so. Because again, Titan is so much easier than freaking, you know, the recent one. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> like, obviously, it just feels easier because you've just done so much if you if you do raiding, right? Yeah. Um, FPS games are so repetitive. They only have one mechanic. Shoot in the head and continue. Uh, true, true, true. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What next? It's boring because it still has the same classes from 1.0 in it. Yeah, I think we should start removing classes. How about that? How about that? Heaven Sword had seven extremes. Stormblood and Shadowbringers uh, had eight. We currently have seven. Yeah. Unreal trials are literally reused trials and I think they're great. Yeah, exactly. And that can be fun to figure out. It's like, why does it always, why is the, like, why is the golden standard to always have something new? Because I honestly don't feel this way. I love new stuff and I don't like doing the same dungeon over and over again because that's repetitive and I don't like that. But I love doing new stuff and I don't feel like something is repetitive just because it has, like, the same mechanics or similar mechanics. I, that that's not the thing it's the whole entirety of the fight or an experience that I have and if I do a new like the last boss of the new alliance raid and it looks fucking fantastic it has an amazing story tied to it and it's fun to do the fight and there's some new mechanics additionally to what I know exactly the mechanics that I know 
because of law reasons, right? Then I don't mind that at all. Why would I mind that? It's not supposed to like teach me a whole new fight. It's supposed to give me a great experience, as like a cinematic experience, basically, right? And that's and a good thing. Get, you also get very conditioned when you played along, when you played hard content. Mm -hmm. Because it's like me reading a cast bar. If I read anything on that cast bar in that yes. game that has something to do with it being <laughs> close or inner. Yeah. Like, like for example, it's called... Uh, it's called Storm inter, Within just or... Storm Within. Yeah. I go out of the hitbox automatically. Yeah. I just do it. I don't know what the mechanic is. Mm -hmm. And if I've... If there has been a mechanic that was in the hitbox, right after it hits, I go in because I'm expecting one that's yeah. on the outside. Yeah. And I think that's a cool thing. And like learning this is, is cool or getting a feeling for this is really cool. And 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 having these repetitive things is like, well, you don't have to like be entirely in the dark about what happens next. And and that's a good thing. And of course, there needs to be a balance between new stuff that you need to figure out from the start and the old stuff that you're used to. But I think Final Fantasy is doing this balance really well. And and I, I don't get this. I don't get this. Like, <laughs> I don't. Because I think they're doing it well. And depending on the content, they're doing it more or less, obviously. They have more new stuff or less new stuff. Ultimates are going to have a lot of unique stuff and a lot of unique mechanics that aren't immediately obvious because they want people to figure those out and to find the best mechanic or the best way of resolving the mechanic. And then in normal content, you're going to have a lot more repetition of stuff because you know it's for it's for the vast majority of the player base that maybe just wants to log in to do story or island sanctuary right yeah mm, the only argument this guy uh, even sort of kind of has a ground to stand on is the homogenization of classes i i guess we're getting there i guess um adding new extremes of permadeath oh god oh god if jobs were too easy, why don't our region healers play Ast? And why don't they play White Mage? Why did they play White Mage instead? Uh, yeah, so as an Astro main, right, uh, I do agree. And I will tell you that I still struggle and I'm not a, an amazing player. And I think my skill ceiling is, uh, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm kind of close to that because I don't want to put like a million hours into, uh, you know, the optimization um, but I know there's a really high skill ceiling for that class. And I know that I used to struggle a lot with just weaving my abilities in because I just wasn't used to it. And I wasn't familiar with the concept of you have your 2.4 seconds or whatever it is, right? Depends. Um, of like your GCD and then, you know, you do that and you want to, you want to keep it rolling and you don't want to clip it. And I had so many troubles to just even like, I didn't even know about that. And now I obviously do. And now I have a much easier job to, for example, uh, place my star in between because I used to like take a million years to just place the star, right? Because if you're starting out, it takes a long time. Weaving cards? I think we all know. I think we all know how f fast you have to do that. And you know the muscle memory that goes into applying the cards and like knowing where people are in the party list and all of that. And then like weaving that in while you're doing your GCD. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot to do. And I could be doing a lot more still. And I already feel like I'm pretty busy on my class, right? So, and then obviously I'm getting better at that. And obviously I wouldn't say that Astro is hard. Like th there's a lot that goes into it. And it's, it's definitely one of the more difficult healers. And you have to have obviously a lot of foresight and you need to play your cards right and all of that. But I got used to it. And it's like, now I can do so many things so much better. And I wouldn't say I'm a good Astro, but I would say I'm definitely a better Astro now, right? So, like, I don't know where I fit in in the grand scheme of, like, how good I am or whatever. But I would say, like, for me, compared to me in the past, I'm doing so much better. And it's gotten easier for me, obviously. And now I don't have to worry about pressing all my buttons. And now I have the muscle memory. So now I can focus more on mechanics. And they, and it's probably the case for every other class. So when once you're used to your class, Class and you can just press a lot of things with muscle memory guess what then you can look at the mechanics more and guess what they made the mechanics harder 
because you have the muscle memory now to play your class, right? So then you can focus more on doing mechanics. And so hence, they're going to be more difficult. Makes sense, right? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Insane. Wow. Wow. Um, I do wish there was more nuance to the class rather than often based around two minutes. Okay, yeah, so that is that. Yeah, I, I think that is a valid point. But uh, again, I, I guess he brings that up in the video as well at some point. Um, the last three GCDs in Bahamut have to be instants. Otherwise, Bahamut is lazy and won't do the last word wave. Hello. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Hi, Hiki, I get that. Uh-huh. I hold, uh, I hate holding damage engaged for two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I also think, yeah. And I, I, I honestly don't think I play into two minutes as much as I should. Uh, I think I should be holding my Astrodine a lot. I should be holding my light speed a lot and stuff like that. And I don't really do that. Um, probably It's probably more of a problem than... Uh, it is definitely more of a problem than I thought it was. Uh, and I only got aware of that, like very aware of that very recently. Uh, definitely a problem and something I could improve. Uh, but I already, like, I don't like that. So it, that's why I don't do it. Because um, I've, I haven't looked at it in a way where I would just know I have to do this. Like, for an opener, I look at the opener and I know I have to do this. But what I would do, uh, just naturally, if you would just let me play the class, right? Because that, that's what you do when you start the game. If I would just naturally play the class however I feel is the best then it would probably be very different than, you know, all the optimized stuff of, oh, you hold it for two minutes or, oh, you do your opener. It would be very, very different because I, I'm just not looking at all the numbers and everything. So what feels natural is not the two minute window, right? It doesn't feel natural. If you need to not press your shiny button until like, you know, 30 seconds after, that fucking sucks. Like you feel like you want to press it, but you can't and you need to hold it and it sucks. So... I totally get that, even even if I don't really feel like I'm too affected by two minutes, because I, again, I, I, I don't know if I'm like, I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Um, let's see, let's see. We just know how to feed, uh, read fights now. Yes, exactly. My friends are still suffering with normal fights. Yeah, two minute window is kind of brought on by the player base. Yeah, that that's also a thing. Yep. Statics would optimize their comps and sync their bursts anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, two-minute window is also very good. It sucks. I don't like it, but it's good. It mm. makes it very easy to balance and yeah. mm -hmm. uh, makes, make fights around it because you know roughly how much yeah. of time, what time it will take and a lot of that stuff. So it makes development a lot smoother. Yep. And that's the thing, right? That's the reason why they have this is they also need to make it easier for development. Because again, here here's another thing. It, you can't just look at classes and their abilities or the two minute window and just see it for what it is by itself. You have to fight in the mechanics. What if we suddenly change it to like, I don't know, three and a half minutes? Well, now everything's fucked up. And, and now you have to like do all the other fights, the previous fights that matched up with the two minute window pretty nicely usually <laughs> and then you have to do it with a three and a half minute window so what do you do now that screws up everything but now it's I'm, established I'm because it comes later so i'm just gonna say it later yeah yeah uh also hi Zach, hello yeah but that's the thing right you always have to think about these things as a big you know everything's working together and and balance and classes and fights everything is just uh matched up to you know to kind of make sense and to feel good. And um, welcome to act two of a long react to why Final Fantasy fourteen is bad. It's true, yes, it, it is bad. We complaining about ass? No, we're not complaining. We're complaining about this, whatever this video is. I don't even want to call it criticism because it's a lot of very weird things. I did a level 90 dungeon as scholar with, a, with like five hours of healing experience and it was fine. Oh yeah, it's totally fine. Like you can totally keep your party alive if you have no clue what you're doing. Uh, but optimizing scholar, for example, as well is complicated. And same for like Astro and I don't know, not for White Mage. White Mage is not complicated. White Mage is easy. White Mage is straightforward. You just heal. You're done. Uh, but yeah, totally, totally a thing. Um that it changes like what you can do with a class 
There's a lot to it. Yeah, stop it. I get the gall best mount before she finished racked. Shut up. <laughs> How dare you. I didn't see what hap what's happening. Oh, Final Fantasy? What? I've been playing Final Fantasy the whole day. What was that? What the hell? We're just reacting. We're not even playing. Do you know why people are crying about Summoner? It feels responsive now and not hopefully after eight waves of Garuda felt like gazing at Summoner with, a, with using her skill. I mean, I don't mind Summoner now. It's, it, it's certainly a very, very simple class, but... I don't, I mean, why are we complaining when it's good that we have classes that are easier so it's more accessible for people? That's another thing. Some. So what if some classes are easier? If you don't like it, then you don't like I get that if you liked it before and now you don't like it anymore. That fucking sucks. I get that, obviously, right? But it's like, obviously some classes... I think should be easier than others because you want to make it more accessible for people who maybe can't, you know, press all their buttons in the right order. And that's okay. That should be okay, right? So then, like, it's fine if some classes are more simple. I don't mind that. If you don't like it, then don't play it. Of course, like, every class has its own aesthetics. And if you like the summoner aesthetic, but you don't like to cla uh, play the class, that's a different issue. I get that. That sucks. But again, you know, I, I get why they're doing it. I get why they're simplifying it and stuff. Um, I don't see a problem inherently in doing that, but again, it's everyone's own opinion. If you don't like it, if you like it, right? I I get both. I get both sides. Um. Mm, Phoenix rotation and summoner is dull as hell. You only press one button. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, and positionals is a whole other thing. Yep. Playing at an acceptable level and optimizing is two different games. Exactly. Yeah, it's so different. Yep, yep, yep. I hate the animations of Summoner. They're so fucking big. I have to turn off all the effects. Yeah, so the Titan, you know the Titan effect? It always scares me. Uh, when the t there's like a there's like an area around me or something every time I use Titan and it scares the hell out of me because I think it's an AOE on me or something and it's I just I I can't I don't play it enough to be used to that. Yeah. We have no ear react uh, emote. Yeah, uh huh. No, we don't. Mm -mm. Unpause. Okay. Choking or God forbid clock spots. I mean, it's all. Oh, sorry, we weren't done yet. God forbid clock spots. We weren't even. We weren't even at the craziest thing. I paused right before the dumbest argument ever. Okay. Anyway, done before. There is no interesting new mechanics that challenge uh... your gameplay ability. If you're a veteran player or no one, <laughs> tell me if this sounds familiar to you. Oh, this mechanic is like this other mechanic in that other boss. Every boss is just a reskin of mechanic. So what? That's a good thing. It's not it's not going to be the exact same and even if it is, so what? What is this argument? Yeah, that's and that's good because then people can explain it fairly easily. Like what is like what's happening? Right? So what was high, what was high concept of those? Which one? High what the fuck is high concept? What is high concept? Mixed blue and... Oh, that! Pink. Yeah, what the fuck was yes. that? Yeah, by so the way... Was that, that one of these? Yeah, no, that was... No, 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 that was partners. That was partners and, and then towers, right? That's high concept. You, you, If you dumb it down enough, it's all the same, right? Yeah? High concept is despair, yeah, yeah. I, I missed that fight. I said it like the other day and now every time I think about it, dude, I miss, I miss high concept. I know it's crazy, but I thought that mechanic was so fun. I lost my mind at the end when we were progging, but I think just looking back at it, I, I think the mechanic is so fun, right? At best, you can say high concept is like Nisi. No, yeah, but that's a stretch. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, what is that, right? And it's if you, but if you dumb it down, you can say it's technically you get like a debuff. Technically, it's a limit cut because you get a you get a thing, right? And you need to go to your corner depending on what number you get or what color, and then you need to do like you need to do stacks or whatever, and that's like a limit cut, right? Because sometimes the one and the two or whatever need to, right? Oh, you don't merge them? Okay, fair. So if you merge them, it's more like a... Uh, well, it, it it has a tower soaked. Or, but yeah, that's the thing, right? It is very different. It is super... It is super unique. And while limit... Uh, while, while limit cut is happening, yeah. While uh, high concept is happening, you... That is a wholly new mechanic. And while you do that, lo and behold, you do towers, 
right? And you do technically you do two people stacks, like you do partner stacks, right? But and that is a rep obviously that's a repetition. But then like okay, so like literally having eight players in the party is a repetition. Having having mechanics for all eight players to do is a repetition. Why can't they change that, right? So that's yeah. What huh? Right? <sighs> Mechanics used in previous uh, fights over and over. All you have to do when learning a new Final Fantasy XIV boss is find the safe spot because. <laughs> do you know? Okay. Okay. Is find the safe. Okay. This is literally one of the most unique mechanics. Find the safe spot. Find like the safe. Like this is in every, every fight, every yeah. Mechanic in every MMO, find every the safe spot. Find the safe spot. game and everything. <laughs> find the safe spot. Stay That's in. How it works. Don't stay in the bed. That's crazy. Don't stay in the bed. Oh my god. I have to. I have to move my character and press my buttons and for every single fight. No way, dude. That's crazy. God, this game is so repetitive. Also, what is this example? This is literally like, what is this? This is this is literally oh, uh, whatever. You know. Spots what? because do you know what every FF14 mechanic in existence is? Yeah, a game mechanic in a video game. In a video game, there's a game mechanic in a video game. That's crazy. You know what every game mechanic in Final Fantasy XIV is? Yeah, game mechanic in Final Don't Fantasy XIV. Don't stop. Let him say the next part. Stand and let thing resolve. <laughs> Stand and let thing resolve. Because we never ever have to resolve things ourselves. Because if you literally, if someone just pulls the boss, right? Have you ever, uh, the thing is, I bet you've never tried this, right? If if you just stand there, if you get cued into the duty, you just stand there, the boss eventually kills itself, right? Because you don't even need to pull it. The boss just kills itself at some point because it gets so bored because the game is fucking boring and no one wants to play it and then you're done and then you can't just let it resolve itself, right? And then if you pull it and everyone just stands there together, right? You pull in and you pull aggro so it can start DPS and it starts its whole sequence, right? Then you can literally just stand there but you need to stand right in the spot where you spawned in. You can just stand there and then let everything resolve and you don't even need to press the buttons you can just if it's closed like if it stay close stays closed you can just auto attack it right and then eventually it'll just you can just stand there and let it resolve yeah if this was, if this was true black mages would be very happy uh, also, the, the, here's here's the thing like this has to be a so the, re the, re the reason like ff has precision so in ff you need to do your mechanic and then stand still and let mm -hmm. the thing resolve mm -hmm. in wow or not probably not mythic and such i don't i don't really i haven't done that so i can't comment on it mm -hmm. but it's like in a lot of other games there is room to move out or move around like a fucking idiot while you do your mechanic mm -hmm. you can jump around but you don't need to yeah yeah Every single game in existence? Yeah, exactly, right? Just do the mechanic correctly, yeah. Stand and let Mario Kart strat resolve? Yeah, just stand. Just stand there. Pen Genesis will auto-soak tower, yeah. <laughs> I mean, have you tried? I, I bet no one has ever tried this. He's probably right. He's probably unlocked the secret. Like, you can just stand there and not even pull the boss for the entire lockout. But it needs to be for the entire lockout. And in the last second, the boss kills itself. Have you ever tried? Probably not. Would you know? Maybe he's right. Uh-huh. This one I said, but wait, it gets better. But wait, it gets better. Okay. Seriously, when I had this realization is when I lost all interest in F okay, F14 yeah. encounter design. Stand and let thing resolve. What are you it's like you know he's like he's one of he's like one of those uh conspiracy theorists that tells you not to be a sheep. And that's like, I know the truth. I know the truth about this. And it's all planned by the government or whatever. And it's all like, it's so simple, right? And it's just this. And and I know, I've realized this. And I'm like crazy for, for, for realizing this. And now I'm not like the others. So now I have to quit the game because now I know too much. And it's like, oh, now I know how to do everything. 
Now I know how to do everything and now I, I have lost interest because I know how to do every mechanic ever. I hope, I hope, like this guy needs to, I just want to see this guy do literally any fight he hasn't done ever in this game and see him resolve everything instantly because that's obviously what he can do now right because he, he has that giga brain where he just has to stand and let the thing resolve and and right so he can do every fight now right he figured it out no he's so smart yeah it yeah absolutely and that's why he deleted his character because he why would he even need to play his game the, the game because he knows every single fight now. He knows how to do all of them. If you if you let him sit there, he can he can do anything. He can do anything. I'm requesting a face palm emote. We need to like add one. Yes, we need to like add a cute. We need to like add cute ones. Is it cute though? We need like cute ones. Yeah. Okay, there's your cute one. This the okay. This guy never saw the bullshit Endwalker mix because he quit. Yeah, but also even it doesn't even have to be Endwalker. It's literally every fight ever. It's you don't immediately you don't immediately know mechanics. Surprise! <gasps> Is that Kana? Oh my god, I love that. I love that. That was nice. Thank you. Thank you. We have the face palms. Knock yourself out, guys. Stand and let thing T pose bonds assert dominance. Let's that go. That is every mechanic. There is no innovation. Did he saying this like he knows? He's saying this like it's true. This has to be a troll, right? He's saying this like it's literally true. He he's saying it's literally stand there and let mechanic resolve like it's true. Like he he this is a fact. Has he played with his monitor off like the whole time? To the gameplay. Just simply a new twist on stand and let thing resolve. Where other oh, MMO I fucking hate this, dude. I fucking hate this. Who's have moving Oh uh, look! Oh my god, look, it's a good oh that's crazy. Look at this fire careful go, 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 jumping. Go. Boss attacks that can be countered, which dynamically changes the fight every pull. But, but. Or using height and gravity to create fun moments. Oh, but, oh, but, oh, but, no, but, no, but, no, we, but we do that. Word. But, but. Has is stand and let thing resolve. There, no, okay. Grab I the tether talk. and. <laughs> what is it's he really, talking about? It's, it's, it's really fun, huh? It's, all right, it's okay. What, what if we what? can have innovation? And and we could stop hitting the boss and jump in a hole to bounce up. Yeah, that... or, or we could walk over onto another platform. Yeah, that. Oh, would really... that be fun? Oh, that would be so oh. fun. I don't. I, oh, I'm so sad. Dropped on a boss. Yeah, I'm so we sad. That would Wouldn't be crazy. Wouldn't that be so good? Yeah. No, I. But so I. Okay. Fun problem solved. But I thought it was interrupt too to give it that. I think like he legitimately meant like parry. Like, like Dark Souls parry mechanic, I guess. But it's like, yeah, he wants ARPG combat. Exactly, Waza. That's what I was about to say. That is an ARPG thing, like countering the boss. <laughs> like, what? That's not an MMORPG thing for, like, Final Fantasy fourteen, right? Like, you, you can have that in your game, sure. But it's like, all these games are so different. And it's like, you have you have open combat in, in in like, uh, wh what's it called again? Wow, that irrelevant one. Yeah, wow. Uh, it's like, you have a lot of, like, open combat where, they're, like, you have a big arena and it's like, you know, you, you fight a lot in, like, the open world and whatever. You don't really do that in Final Fantasy XIV. It's, it's one boss, it's one arena. And... You need to move in that arena. And oh my god, you know what? I'm reminded of that. There was this like weird boss. It looked kind of like a tree. It's pretty recent. You know, it's like a so. tree. And then there was like, if I remember correctly, it was like three like round platforms and like bridges. And you actually had to cross the bridges. And like you, you, you like had to do knockback stuff and whatever, right? And then some bridges would form and some wouldn't. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be so fun if we have that? I think I dreamed about that. I don't think so, that happened. So no one. No one talks about this. Mm -hmm. And if someone was raiding in Stormblood, I'm about to give you all a PTSD. Mm -hmm. How? What if we had an Omega raid that included <laughs> an eye or a blob with lots of eyes on it that needed you to use that anti-gravity Oh, thing? you're right! Didn't we all just love that fight on Savage? 
Didn't we oh, just really love oh that one? Oh my god, you're right. I remember. I like. I know the normal that one. Obviously, so, but... that one was so fun. Oh, that right? was so fun. That. Yeah, was it? Oh wow. I I wow. That would be so fun if we did. That was the most dog shit fun. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, I mean, but see, the thing is, like, I mean, but you guys, what, what, like, what are you criticizing? But don't you have enough, like, but do you have enough, like, you know, innovative things? Wouldn't you want that back? Like, what are you saying right now, huh? Don't you want innovation and, like, fun mechanics that make you not press your damage button? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, demon chat just paint and resolve. Paint and resolve the mechanic exactly. Oh, I would hate if there were also a fight that included you going in and had to solve a puzzle of a random puzzle of where the sand would take you and you needed to oh find the portal. Oh my god! Out in please. Time. Oh my god. Also, hi King. Hello, thank you for the headpins and hydrate. You on the other side of that? Yeah, because I was thinking that there was like so much on the left side because we were watching a reaction and uh, I don't think it's happening, but uh, it's fine. I'm I'm just gonna stay here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I also want to point I'm out mm -hmm. this isn't his. He hasn't done top. This is mm -hmm. borrowed. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, he would have his name up if it was so. Mm-hmm. What's the audacity of using top gameplay in his video, criticizing the current state of the game, and right. and Endwalker specifically, right? And then yeah. boring this and not even having done it, and it's not even his content, dude. This is so. And, this is and such I a clown. Mean, to, Nimi, if you're still here, Nimi, top is just stand still and uh, let yeah. resolve, right? Yeah. It's easy. It's not innovative, right, Nimi? No, let, just just stand there and just let let it resolve, yeah. Um, Delta Skip 2.0 was savage, was fun. I was like, clusterfuck with party, but it was fun. Yeah. As someone that has rated an ESO, Destiny 2, and Final Fantasy 14, I would say Final Fantasy 14 is the hardest. I've farmed and completed the hardest raid in Destiny 2. It doesn't even come close to an ultimate raid in Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, again, and I think it's because it is so specific, right? It is so specific, uh, and it's just. Yeah, it, it the the skill ceiling of ultimates, it's so high and it's it's really difficult and it is supposed to be like very specific. You have to uh, resolve a mechanic in very specific ways and everyone needs to do their job. Like every single person needs to do their job and and if you don't, then like you you likely very likely uh, gonna fuck up your party and depend. Obviously, sometimes you can recover. Um, but in like in ultimate fights, most of the time, if one person dies, you're going to be in for a very bad time. Obviously, that's uh, older. I, I don't think it's the case so much for older ultimates, depending on where someone dies. Uh, you can still recover. Uh, but in the newer ultimates, I think the it's it's much more difficult. There's so much more that's going on from what I've seen. Again, I haven't done them either. So, you know, but um, yeah, it's... It, it, <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm go. dying. Let's go. Let I'm dying. Resolve. Go to clock spots and let it resolve. Hide behind the rock and thank you for the follow on X on X.com, Mori. Thank you. I appreciate it. I just got the pop up. I'm sorry for calling you out, but thank you. <laughs> let it resolve. I just and got this it repetition phone. of reusing old mechanics over and over on top of a non changing gameplay formula leads to apathy. No longer are we challenged and mean? asked to improve our gameplay ability. Then why are all the raiders still doing the newest raids and the newest, the newest, you know, everything? Why are people doing that then? If it's always the same thing over and over. Stand and let the video resolve. <laughs> we are simply tasked with finding the safe spot and standing there until the thing resolves. And challenge an FF14. What? That's not at all how it works. It has this guy even been playing the game? No way. Like he, if you think about this for literally two seconds, you can literally think about a mechanic right now, like literally in two seconds where that doesn't apply. That is literally a mechanic that you need to move for. You need to actively make a very specific movement to to get to where you need to be or to, you know, have the mechanic resolve in the way you need it to. Huh? What? The guy acts like he speaks for our raiders? I know, right? 
Even though every ultimate raider considers DSR and top to be way harder than anything before Endwalker. Yeah. Yeah, right? And I've heard that so much. People, like, there were so many people that were just tired. So very tired of DSR and top. But not because it's all repetitive. But because it's actually so difficult. And it's such a pain to get through. And, like, the world race and everything. Like, if you followed the world races for these, you could tell. People, pe like, they're, they're putting so much time and effort into this. They're progging for hours and hours and hours a day. And if it was so easy, then why do they need so much time? Why are they losing their minds over how difficult this is? Why are they sacrificing so much of their, like, mental health and, and physical health to do this? Right? It's crazy. Yeah, it's it feels more like a rage bait to generate viewers. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, if I mean, he was an active content creator, I would agree. But he's not creating content anymore. So. Uh, well, he's also not a part of the Final Fantasy fourteen community anymore. So teen has actually been going backwards. The game is not even maintaining the difficulty it used to have, but actually making everything easier. What are you talking about? That's a lie. Easier. That's Topic a lie. Three. It wasn't all. How? Okay, then give us examples. Yeah, this is this is like this is literally uninformed, rage okay, okay, baity, uh, okay. clickbaity. Mm. Huh? Right. 